welcome back. I'm here today with Coda, my model for the day. He's a 16-in-1 draft horse cross and he's absolutely super mega awesome. And today he's going to talk to you about horses, backs, forward slash abdominal muscles. Now he's not going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you. But I'm going to use him as the model. So sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. So we talk all the time about horses' backs. We say horses' backs. We want our horses' back to be strong. We want our horses' back to carry our weight. Horses' back, horses' back, horses' back, all the time. And when we think of them as a weight-bearing creature, we think about their back. But did you know it's not their back that bears our weight? It's these muscles here, their core muscles, their stomach muscles, their abdominal muscles that bear our weight. Imagine you're on your hands and your knees and somebody jumps on your back. You need to tense your core. It's your core that you tense and you bring in to strengthen your back and to make your back strong. Same with the horses. It's these muscles here that bear our weight, not these ones here. They're not a weight-bearing creature as such. They're designed for all of their organs and all of their heavy things to hang from their ribs which is why they're so strong through here and that is why we can also sit on them. But it's that hanging of all of the organs and the ribs and everything. There's these muscles here that hold it all together and create that strength. So think of, for example, an older horse whose back has got weaker and we say their back has got weaker. Their back has started to drop and it started to get a little bit what we would call a sway back and it's dropped in. But as you look at their stomach muscles, as their back drops, their belly drops too. It says abdominal muscles that weaken and drop. If you're worried that your horse has got weak abdominal muscles, there's loads of exercises that you can do. The first one that we suggest is something called a belly scratch. And you get your nails, and you get their belly, and you watch his back here, and you give him a good scratch. And can you see? He lifts his back by tensing his tummy muscles. So that's a really good exercise. There's also carrot stretches where you give them a carrot through their front legs. And you watch them do that, and as they put their head through their front legs, they lift up their abdominal muscles to get their tummy out of the way of their head so they can reach their carrot. And there's also the good old bum scratch. They get a point on their bum here, they've got a little reflex point, and you give it a scratch and you look at his bum come up there. So to find that point, you put your fingers into the corner of the tail and you make a little W with your hands and where your middle finger ends up is usually the place and you scratch the skin, not the top, you don't tickle, you give it a scratch on both sides. And as you can see, Coda, his belly muscles, his abdominal muscles tensed, lifted and that in turn lifted his back, creating what we would describe as a stronger back, but really it's those stronger abdominal muscles. I hope that helped and I hope that was in some way useful to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and tune in regularly. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, lots and lots of love.